Hey guys, Lynn here, and today I'm going to be talking about my personal experience with Miller at Carowinds in North and South Carolina. If you guys have been watching my videos for at least since the time I went to Carowinds on March 25th, you'll most likely know that Hurler is my least favorite roller coaster so far. And honestly, it's for good reason. This roller coaster truly sucks. It's rough, it's boring, it's janky, it has way too many trims, and it has no airtime. It was also pretty forceless, if you ask me. I only got one ride on it, and that was enough for me to know how bad it was. I got stuck on a wheeled seat. Thank you, Ride Up, for directing me to that row. But, oh my gosh, I was getting beat up. My head was moving side to side. It was painful. If I could even get airtime, which I couldn't, it would be painful. The first drop was completely forceless. It is only 83 to 83 feet tall, so I'm not really surprised. But it was honestly instantly killed by the trims. This roller coaster also had no theming. The station honestly was pathetic. It looks like a storage shed. International Coasters Incorporated made two roller coasters. This and the other hurler at King's Dominion. And they RMC'd the one at King's Dominion. So please, RMC this roller coaster. But... They did not do a good job on this roller coaster, and it clearly shows. Anyways, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you for watching, and this has been Elaine from Christopher's signing off.